Lord be with you. On the first day of the week, the women who had come from Galilee with Jesus took spices they had prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb. But when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. All the puzzled over this, behold, two men in Nazareth garments appeared to them. They were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground. The two said to them, why do you seek the living one among the dead? He is not here, but he has been raised. Remember what he said to you while he was still in Galilee, that the Son of Man must be handed over to sinners and be crucified in rags on the third day. And he remembered his words. Then he returned from the tomb and announced all these things to the eleven all together. The women were Mary Magdalene, Joanna, the Mary and mother of James. The others who accompanied them were also told this to the apostles. But the story seemed nonsense. But they did not believe him. But Peter got up and ran to the tomb, bent down, saw the bitter parts alone, and then he went home, amazed at what had happened. My friends, the gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Your turn! Come on! Come on! Hit it! Not bad! One more one! you can sit down. <laughs> we got a name for it. It's called full and active participation. There will be no spectators at this celebration tonight because this is the night. This is the celebration. This is as good as it gets because death has been overcome. Oh, death, where is your victory? Oh, death, where is your sting? The sting of death gets its power from sin. Sin has been overcome. The Lamb of God has taken away the sin of the world. And tonight, he has risen from the dead. We, we've just been celebrating the, the most powerful three days of the year. And tonight is the ultimate mystery. You know, they got a name for it. They call it the Passion of the Christ. You know, when we think of the word, the passion of the Christ, what we think of is, is the cross and the suffering and the pain. And that's really true. It, it, he really does take on the sin of the world. St. Paul says he became sin. He, he, he feels our pain. He knows what it means to be human. He knows what it means to suffer. That is the passion of the Christ. But that wasn't his first passion. The first passion of God the thing that Jesus was absolutely passionate, passionate about, was life, the fullness of life. And, and not life when we die. If you hear nothing else, church, hear this tonight. We are not a funereal society. It's about living right now. And this night, we have three among us who are, are both coming into the full communion of the church who have already been baptized, who are already sons of God, and one who is about to be plunged into the baptismal waters and come out a brand new creation. But he cannot do that alone. You see, we are the body of Christ. We are intimately connected to each other. And so our spirit, which is the spirit that we received at our baptism, we now pass on to him. Oh, tonight is a, a celebration, no, unlike any other celebration of the year. 
for it's about lachaim. It's about life. It is the fullness of life, the promise of life. And for those who dare to believe, we shall not be denied. It's all about life. That's the passion of Jesus. He had a name for it. He called it the kingdom of God. Well, tonight, the kingdom is here.